Okay, so what we're doing now is this is something that will be performed in the downtime in between patients. Your staff can do this next part. And if you watch in this uh, window off to the right side, Posture Print is going to tell you exactly where to digitize the patient. So that way you can train your staff to do this for you. Um, <clears throat> so you already saw how we obtain the actual images during the examination. So this is in the downtime that we do this. Now, this runs in the Internet Explorer. So... <clears throat> What you do is you have to have a connection to the internet and once you download the pictures you're going to load the image for that patient um, from where you uh, stored them. I'm going to load her AP and we're going to load this up and you'll see that posture print will actually find where the uh, markers were on on the patient. So there she is and you can see that the markers that it didn't find it's going to ask you to go ahead and click. So obviously it tells you exactly where to click on the mid upper lip so we're going to go ahead and do that click on the mid upper lip, then her right AC joint, I'm going to go ahead and click here, her left AC joint, perfect, and then the lateral uh, rib markers, so we'll go ahead and click here, and here, this will measure the thoracic translation, now at the lateral thigh markers, and so you always watch the window so it tells you exactly where to go, and we're going to scroll down here and do <coughs> the right ankle, okay, and now the left ankle and right great toe and left and now we're next uh, ready to move to the next view so we're going to do the right lateral and I'm going to choose the right lateral view for her and we're going to open that up and uh, posture print is going to find some of the markers already <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and click on the rest so now we're going to go ahead and do the right ear tragus and then we're going to go T2 and AC and then episternal notch. Now these markers on her back here are used to identify um, a thoracic rotation and here's T12 you can see T12 right there and PSIS and ASIS and now to identify pelvic rotation, here we are. You can see how you can see this other marker. So that's how we can determine wax rotation using the um, math uh, algorithms designed by our mathematicians. And obviously all this has been published in Index Medic Medicus journals for both validity and reliability. And <clears throat> moving on, now that's the right lateral view. Now we have to digitize the left lateral view. So I'm going to go ahead and digitize this, open that one up, and posture print is going to find those markers and the calibration markers in the back. This runs a little bit faster than I have here because I'm actually re recording the screen as I digitize her posture. So <clears throat> the processor on the computer is a little burdened by what we're doing here. And so now we're going to click the thoracic markers. As you can see, this is pretty straightforward. Um, your staff member can easily do this, both during the examination as well as doing this in the downtime. And then where the doctor's role is, is to come in and just double check that everything was digitized appropriately, and then take the suggested exercises in the next step um, to go ahead and uh, make sure they were uh, the appropriate markers and appropriate exercises. So we'll do that in the next step.